All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. Uh, for our next deck today, which is going to be some Grixis Discard. So, as y'all probably know, uh, if you've seen me play this deck before, um, this is one of my uh, favorite decks to play that because I think it's one of the strongest decks that I that I actually play. Um, really liking the list, um, but having quite a bit of success with it against you know kind of everything. Um, yeah, I think that out of like the different brews that that I play. Um, if I would play, go play one in a tournament, uh, I think this would be the, the one. Um, I'm making two changes, or, well, really, one change in the sideboard is I'm taking out the Unmoored Egos from the sideboard. I kind of felt that they're just not too necessary. And um, <clears throat> so for the, for those two, I'm putting in a fourth Negate, because uh, Negate is, is awesome against, like, the same matchups that I would want Unmoored Ego in against anyway, where I want the Ego against, like, the... Wilderness Reclamation decks. Negate's really good there, too. So just getting the fourth Negate in there. And then I kind of want one more card against Sultai. I just don't know exactly what that is. Because against Sultai, I want to board out the Duress. And I want to bring in one card. And I, don't, I just don't know what one card I want. I'm trying out Ral. Uh, because if I... Like, the games where I get to follow up, like, my Discard, my, my Thought Rager, my Campaign, and then it's specifically a Ritual of Sit... The games I get to follow up Ritual of Sit with like Planeswalker is pretty good. And so I want a fourth Planeswalker to make it easier to go Ritual of Soot into a Planeswalker. The problem with Ral though is there's a um, a non-zero amount of games that the minus three ability from Ral doesn't um, actually kill like the uh, the threat that I need it to kill. And that's like the, the big problem with Ral. But the card selection is really nice. Uh, that it has, and so let's go ahead and try it out. Um, yeah, enchantments are a thing. I I don't think it's really that big a deal that you can't that you don't have like good enchantment removal. We have dispersal that can remove an enchantment. That's of course pretty clunky, but we just that's what all of our discard effects are. Um, you know, we have our thought erasures that can take enchantments. If they're like a real enchantment heavy deck, we have thought erasures, duresses, and the gates. Um, you know, we're just proactive on it. I... I initially thought at the beginning of the format that not having enchantment removal like Mortify was going to be a big deal. But it, honestly, it's kind of not. Mortify is kind of keeping the different enchantments in check. Because uh, Mortify is a, a heavily played card in, in Esper. Wilderness Reclamation is like the one big enchantment that you want to have a removal spell for. Um, this time our, our one lander worked out. It didn't work out that last time with Esper Legends. Ooh. So dive down. So obviously I don't care about the coils. So we got dive down and Drake. Um, taking the Drake. So they'll have a dive down for a Terramander. No big deal. Just one Escanta and Disinformation campaign to start. Um, start having me get ahead of the opponent. And I guess they don't have the red mana for Drake anyway, but still Drake's just a great card. Oh, please don't counter this. Oh, come on. No. Yeah, absolutely, Phage. Yeah, I'll definitely play your uh, Grixis midrange deck for a deck donation, absolutely. You can tell me what, what day, what time. It looks pretty interesting. Storm Tamer, Freebooter. Phoenix, everything. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. I like it. But like I was just mentioning before, I think the weakness to enchantments is uh, pretty over overblown and just not, not a very big deal. But the perception is that it's a really big deal. And I just haven't... 
with all the games I've played, I found that it's just, it's honestly not that big a deal. And it's not like you're completely dead to them. I mean, you do have dispersal. So if you can use campaign and Angrath and stuff and you clear their hand, then you can have a dispersal, get rid of like an Ixalan's binding. Hmm. Alright, just kind of using Contempt instead of Bedevil because it costs more mana. If I have Angrath steal a Terramander, the other Terramander kills Angrath. Yeah, so basically... Yeah, nobody plays, like... Enchantment prison decks, which is true. Really, just drew a counter spell. Uh, that's twice my two important card advantage cards: Sertrus Kanta and Angrath. They had one card we didn't know about, and it was a spell pierce they just drew. Please don't don't do it again to me. All right, thank you. Never seen your crew for my freedom. It's surprising they haven't drawn any <laughs> red mana whatsoever. Um, you know how we took the Crackling Drake earlier? They haven't drawn any red mana this whole game. Um, but yeah, nobody really plays like the enchantment prison decks because Mortify, Mortify is kind of holding back enchantments. Uh, so, no fire. No Asper Control is doing your work for you. There. And this game should be over. Oh, they could just have a shock and shock the Angrath and who knows, go from there. No fire, no steel. No fire, no, no fire. steel. Alright, Nikki B. Get to play you next turn. Like our opponent's name, Nacho Eater. When I was when I was a kid, I loved nachos. Nachos were like my favorite thing. Um, you know, when I was in like elementary school and everything, um, I used to eat so many nachos. Like I'd no always fire. like we'd go to like no minor steam. league baseball games, and I would just all I'd want were just nachos after nachos after nachos. All right, game two. So we got, is it Drake's? Um, there's not really too much to sideboard. Ritual of Soot is better uh, than it used to be with them playing Terramander. So like it, you know, they have Terramander and Enigma Drake. So Ritual of Soot's really actually not even that bad. Uh, Cry the Carnarium, a moment of craving, don't kill things. Dress and negate are kind of whatever. Thieves of Sandy is not a card I want to play. I honestly may not sideboard here at all. Maybe I take out one soot for a duress. I mean, Niv, Niv is like something I need to be worried about. Niv, uh, Niv Mizzet. If I still had Unmordigo, I may bring in Unmordigo for Niv Mizzet, like a one of Unmordigo. Niv Mizzet's the scariest thing. Rao, honestly, Rao could be kind of good. Yeah, actually, let me play a Rowl. Yeah, let me get this Rowl in here. Let's 
Should I take out one Ancrath? Yeah, because Ralph can kill Niv. Um, I'm going to take out an Angrath for the Ral. Yep, that's what I'm thinking too, King Tolda. We have enough. We don't need necessarily more top end in the deck, you know, so bringing in a 5 drop. Um, I want to keep the, the curve, you know, kind of low. I don't want to have too many 4s and 5s. So, yeah, how do you beat those decks? It's, um, I mean, Thief of Sandy is like the big, the big plan. So against Team of Reclamation, um, you know, maybe, maybe I'll need Unmoored Ego. You know, I haven't played against it without it, but I'm bringing in all the Duress, all the Negate, all the Thief of Sanity. And trying to have, just trying to go for Duress, for Thought Erasure, for Negate, for Thief of Sanity. Um, you know, the disinformation campaigns and all that kind of stuff as well. Yeah, Gates can be tough. Gates goes over the top. Um, the, the real problem with Gates is the blue enchantment, um, just because it draws them... A ridiculous number of cards. I guess that's that's a card that having an enchantment removal spell would be nice for. Against against gates, I'm I'm doing the same thing. I'm bringing in the thief of sanities, I'm bringing all the duresses and the gates, thief of sanities, stuff like that. Again, against gates. <laughs> Just got destroyed destroyed by bounty of might. Who comes up with these cards? <laughs> right. So I'm not waiting until I make them discard all their lava coils here for this bolus. So they they discarded discovery. Yet they discarded discovery. Yet they had the two mana to cast discover discovery previously, which is kind of saying that they have. I do want these cards. It's kind of saying that like they have a negate in their hand. I I think my nickel bolus is dying here, which is why I want this other nickel bolus because I think this one's probably going to die. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to play Grixis without bolus. <laughs> we did we did eventually play bolus uh, towards the end of the last game. What? That's for aggro decks opponent. Um No fire, no steel. So even against Niv Mizzet here, we don't have to be that worried about Niv Mizzet because I could still even like steal the I could steal their Niv Mizzet with Angrath. And then contempt the Niv Mizzet, and get and I would get the trigger, and I would get to do the damage and draw a card. <laughs> little Dino's so cute, so cute, just like the little Dino Raptor hatchling. All right, want to know? Trix is a pretty good matchup for us in general. Said so Niv Mizzet is. The biggest problem. Soul tie. This is a good matchup. Not like, not as in good as in really good for us, but good as in the the games are usually good. All right, so no, I could wait till after campaign uh, for discovery, but we have so many lands here with the six lands that I want to just cast this discovery, use the mana because we're probably gonna have to like contempt after campaign and so on. I'm good at what sacrifices must be made. 
I don't really care that they can kill the campaign with Vraska. Just it's not a big deal. Let's tear this place apart. This is nothing. Hmm. Alive or alive? How worried about this ultimate do I need to be? Let's do this again. Not that worried. Not like Vivian Reed worried. Whoa. Carnage Tyrant's a big worry. It was probably going to die anyway. We need to draw another removal spell here. Perfect. Yeah, old school Gogari. This Carnage Tyrant is going to be tough if they get to play it here. I'm hoping they just have a, this is a removal spell. That's what I'm hoping. One more scratch. So that we get to thought die, erasure away the Carnage Tyrant. All right, if we take any damage, we die. They do have Memorial to Folly, of course. But oh well. If they Memorial of Folly back the Carnage Tyrant, that's, you know, makes it like pretty, they're down to only four lands. Um, if they Folly back Branch Walker, we can hit them with Branch Walker. We can Angrath minus for the Branch Walker. It'd be a lot better to draw a removal spell and be able to Angrath tick up. We may not be that lucky. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. Campaign next turn just draws my next card still and makes them discard. This Frasca Ultimate is certainly a problem. Without without Frasca Ultimate, like we have this game, you know, pretty well in hand without Frasca Ultimate. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Ah, that got my attention. You know, if we could just be at 22 and take some hits. This thing, though, making so the any creature is lethal. Out, but the embers burn It's pretty rough. On. Sacrifices must be made. From like to draw another Angrath? Or Nicol Bolas. I don't know. I, we'll s I don't think. I mean, I need. I need to like save my removal. Like if they draw a creature, because a creature is lethal. Why bother hitting the Vraska? I don't know, because it can do stuff like that. That would have killed Nicol Bolas, and that would have been annoying, but. Yes, yeah, so they have fine finality. Its loss will serve us. Huh. 
Oh, I need Angrath or Bolas. I can't sit. I couldn't just sit back on Ritual set previously. Its pain is our gain. Relic Seeker? I can't I can't beat these cards. I can't beat Relic Seeker and Carnage Tyrant. And also with a contempt there. Like what's the best possible thing I could draw next turn? Like I have to take Relic Seeker. I I have to take Relic Seeker, they get to play Carnage Tyrant. What can I possibly draw? I mean, I have, to, I have to draw Dispersal to get rid of Cartage Tyrant. But it only gets rid of it for a little bit. Yeah, there's nothing. Alright, Rao comes on in for that Duress. Carnage Tyrant's the big problem. Not have you know, that'd be a card I wouldn't mind having a Nunmore Ego for. Ugh. Yeah, Star of Extinction's another card that I'm thinking about playing instead of this Rel. Star of Extinction is certainly an option. Star of Extinction was necessary to the last format with when Golgari looked like this from last format, uh, with all the Planeswalkers and Carnage Tyrants. Star of Extinction was in the deck, but Sultai doesn't really look like this. And you don't see uh, this kind of deck as much. But Star of Extinction is, is another card that could be, instead of Rao, that could be a card for the slot. I, I want something for Sultai. Um, definitely considering Star. All right, play first. Mm -hmm. It's a keep. Let's please draw an untapped land and be able to go campaign, start the campaign trail on turn three. Hopefully. Perfect. Um, I kind of learned from like previously of I've like sat on discovery and waited till after that, but then kind of realized like like it kind of fired uh, backfired on me of like just not using my my two mana on turn two because you know having to play a lot of other things. And so I'm just going to get the campaigns going and everything. And, like, I'm just going to cast that discovery because I feel like by the time we campaign a couple of times and after the discovery, we get to see a lot of cards. And we most likely will have another discovery or thought erasure uh, to be able to pick it up. Oh, please just destroy that. I will take... <laughs> this campaign was a mind rot plus draw card. That's very strong. I'll take time walk you. Also, plus make them spend their four mana. That's a great start for us. I 
I guess they can. Yeah, they could Vivian. Here, which would not be good. Um, I'm making it harder for them to play. I'm basically trying to make it a little harder for them to play Carnage Tyrant. It's a card I was thinking of that I want to keep on hitting their hand, like where they're discarding lands, kind of thing. Oh, please do not do not draw lands. That's good. That's good. All right, didn't get to get didn't get the free land draws. We don't want that when we're bolusing and campaigning and stuff like that. Ooh, no lands, no lands. Contempt, contempt, find. All right, so they have one black source. Let's get rid of this find. Um, I'll take the other campaign. Yeah, it's better than my. Yeah, it was like mind rot plus time walk plus draw card. Ow. Are we looking at six mana? Ooh, find broker. Yeah, get rid of that one. Alright, just gonna go ahead and coil their stuff. what our deck can do like with the campaigns and stuff we can really deny their resources um yes please now we have the seven mana to flip bolus Yeah, understand. The game's over. Alright, it's so their find broker also. They have a lot of really good cards against us. I don't think we're favored here at all. Alright, Wednesday around 4 p.m. Roanoke time. Okay. So, Wednesday, you're going to be second on Wednesday then I start the stream at three so we already have a donation deck for third and fourth on Wednesday so I should I have two other don yeah so I'm gonna try to get one of these other ones so we'll probably just have all donation decks tomorrow yeah so Grixis midrange uh, second tomorrow Perfect. Um, Thief is just going to get outclassed, and it's going to be... Yeah, I don't think I really want Thief. They do have so many Planeswalkers. I wonder if I should play Duress. Maybe I should cut back on Nicol Bolas. Mm -hmm. They just they're just gonna outrace Thief. Um Thief would have to come in, in like the disinformation campaign slot. They're they're both like similar cards of like cards that you know, like we we can't block with Thief, right? Like it I mean obviously we can technically, but it's not something we ever want to do. So they're cards that don't really affect the battlefield on turn three. I don't we can't play campaign and thief. With Ritual of Soot being such an important card for us, also, just doesn't make me want to, you know, like, the curve of Thief on turn 3 into Soot on turn 4. 
because you're too far behind from like branch walkers and jade lights. It's not a good curve. Not not a good curve. I've had to do that one before uh, when trying to bring in thief here. It's not something I want to do. Coil and exile that, so they don't get it back from fine finality. They decided to keep, and this has worked out. Get on that campaign trail. <laughs> And now, now I can kind of wait and sit back for Ritual of Set. We just really don't want to see Vivian next turn, but they had another Find Finality and they kept that one. They don't have the land to go Vivian. All right, Sheriff Rasco, whatever. Only a fool stands in my way. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. Hey, Matthew, sounds like you're you're making good progress, though. Hunter, you're getting a lot done. I'm making good progress. I like it. So, uh, I'm likely going to dispersal the Vraska Golgari Queen here, like if, if that's something that we need to do. Are they sacking alive a land? Or alive. Ooh, you already don't have very many lands. They have a lot of six drops, like Carnage Tyrants and stuff. They need to kind of be worried about their mana base there. Alright, let's sit, let's sit first. And I'm saving saving this for dispersal. Um, yeah, we have we have three contempts, two bedevils. Uh, so we do have five removal spells that we could just draw this there. Pain is our gain. Thought Razor is good. Alright, get that out of here. Hmm. I'll take the Vraska. Even if they find a broker. Find broker returns something. But, like, whatever they return, we just make them discard it with campaign. So it's, like, not a big deal. Then we can just coil the find broker. Yeah, these last two games just show the power of disinformation campaign. Just ripping the opponent's hand apart and just... Reducing the resources that they have by so much. J Light's perfect draw. Yeah, keep that. Mm, they didn't keep it. Um, they don't have any lands over here, do they? They do have a land. Gross. Fourteen. 
Why would... What are you doing, opponent? Just get a land. I... <laughs> I have these campaigns. You know I'm just gonna play the campaign and make you discard that. Just grab the land. All right, so I have to, I have to shock. Um, that's that's fine. Oh wait, I have to blue mana. Yeah, I know Soot doesn't kill the fine broker, but I I would think I'd rather kill. I guess it's probably better just to kill the Fine Broker here, isn't it? So I'm going to have Contempt for Fine Broker, Soot for Jade Light. Um, I was thinking about just using this to kill the Fine Broker. Uh, or sorry, to kill the Jade Light. Because um, it, cause it's attacking for four. But I guess there's there's a good chance they draw a creature that Soot would also kill next turn. So we'll, we'll go Contempt this turn. But of, of course I, I know that Fine Broker is not going to die to Ritual Soot. Come on, King Toll. You're not giving me enough credit. Alright, campaign again. We could Dispersal and save Sit. Dispersal is going to be better for us, though. Like, Dispersal... I'd rather Sit this thing and have Dispersal in case... For some reason, they get a Carnage Tyrant or something like that in play. Or even just a Planeswalker. I want to save Dispersals. Plus, these are valuable because they pick up the campaigns. There we go. One mana off. I can shock. Honestly, it may be better to wait on this thing. Just so I can play it and flip it. I don't want them to just like top deck a removal spell and kill my bolus. Do I want the land? I kind of want the land. Yeah, lands are good. No, no chupacabras. Yeah, no, I shouldn't have shocked. No, I, 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 you know, changed my mind. And so, yeah, I just lost two life when I didn't need to. So they'll get back Jade Light. And uh, we will Nickel Bolas get their Carnage Tyrant. That's why I wanted to land. I just, you know, one land drops. This omnipotence. Isn't death amusing? Now we don't have to worry about our opponent getting back Carnage Tyrant. Uh, You'll pay for that. They were gonna top. Well, I guess they weren't gonna top deck the answer. For removal spell. Um. All right, let's start playing these things. Probably find an Angrath or a, another Nickel Bolas somewhere. And as Kanta, that's that's good. Down to twenty four cards.
the slowest card advantage. Hey, give a little hug. Good morning. Ooh, journey to eternity, huh? That's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. All right, campaign. Here we go. Run it back. Where's the planeswalker? Haven't found one yet. Man, we haven't. We've seen one bolus and no angraths and no rals. We, got, we still have seven more top-end threats in our deck. Let's activate this thing. This has got to find an Angrath. There's an Angrath. You no fire, no steel. Oh, I should have draw stepped dispersal. Yeah, I should draw step dispersal there. So they just discard their card on draw step. I guess it doesn't really matter though, they were just gonna go get Jade Light. Carnage Tyrant finishes it off. Disinformation campaign just took away so many resources from the opponent and gave us so many resources. Just drown the opponent. That's what that card does. And it's pretty sweet. Hey, Yud, yeah, ready, ready to go see the movie tonight. All right, can I move back over here a little bit? Yeah, gonna, that's why we're doing the early stream today from 3 to 7 instead of from... Uh, or sorry, <laughs> from noon to seven, instead of from three to ten, like we normally do here, um, doing the earlier stream, um, so I get to go see the Captain Marvel movie afterwards. Got half price tickets on Tuesdays, so I got my tickets. Um, I'm gonna eat so much popcorn. I'm probably gonna feel bad tomorrow because I'm gonna eat way too much popcorn. But I um, uh, oh, I I love butter popcorn and caramel popcorn. I like them both. I'd say yes to either. All right, basic swamp is kind of tough if I want this lava coil or not. Like some, yeah, you know, like this could be like Esper control. It's not too likely, or a blue black control. Ah. Take my coil. No, my coil. I didn't want to take the ang I wanted to leave the Angrath on top though because I was thinking even like Thought Erasure uh, kind of thing. So it it worked out well for us uh, that they didn't get to take Bola or didn't get to take Angrath. Trontastic, your movement watch showed up today. Awesome. How is it? How's your how's your watch? You enjoying it? Um Oh, I wonder if I can do both. I may get both tonight. I may get both.
both caramel popcorn and butter popcorn. Certainly getting butter popcorn. I'm getting the large and I'm getting the refill. Maybe I'll try to get uh, caramel popcorn as well. No fire, no steel. Go, Angrath, go. Put butter on the caramel popcorn. Lazav. Get that surveilling in, picking up those campaigns. I can't hate what my opponent's doing. We, of course, can steal the Freebooter. Let's see what our opponent does here. Um, I could steal the Freebooter, hit him for five, get the Lava Coil back, Lava Coil the Lazav. Or I just keep attacking their hand. The pro the the one problem with doing that line is that then our opponent could have like Thief of Sanity that I don't really have an answer for anymore. Except for just blocking with Bolas. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> Wait, is this price. end of turn? What is unstep? Dang it, I don't like my, my move as much now. I'm thinking end of combat. I kind of wish I would have just ticked up on Angrath, but I guess this is over here now. Grabbing Lazav doesn't do a whole lot for us. Yeah, now, now I just turned on their discard spells. I kind of wish I was just taking Angrath up again. Oh, well. well. I need the light on in my room. It's starting to get... It's a little getting a little darker, and I don't have the light on. No! I don't want to draw Angrath now. The opponent makes me discard Angrath. I guess I have to play the new one. Because otherwise they'll just campaign it away. No fire, no steel. Yep, we'll make it. Discard again. <laughs> Please. No fire, no steel. We were serious when we were saying no fire and no steel. We weren't joking around. Oh, wait, they get Thief of Sandy. I forgot they discarded Thief of Sandy. I was thinking the Fury Booter was the only card in their graveyard. But they have a Thief. You can turn Lazav into Thief. But if they turn Lazav into Thief, then I get to Angrath minus and steal the Thief and hit him with Thief. So that's actually good. So yeah, let's just... I, actually, I don't mind that at all. That dude Vast with the Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in the channel for that dude Vast. Thanks, Vast. I do appreciate that. Sub number eight Blows on the day. Tepper the blade, swine. Boom. Yeah, they, they discarded the other campaign. Don't have to worry about that. They discarded that. Um, yeah, it's just not... 
They just spend so much mana to I turn their thing into Thief. It's not a very good play for them. I'm, I'm not surprised at all they didn't make that Thief of Sandy. It's just not, not too good of a play for them. Discard. No fire, no steel. Wow. Oh, I guess... I guess they don't want me to grab. Grab the Doom Whisper. How convenient. An excellent choice. Well, you can have the cast down. Hostage Taker would not be an excellent choice. And grabs your favorite card. It's it's a great one. I guess the safest play to make sure we have lethal is to take this thing. Good. If I would have just contempted that, it would have dived down to it. Alright, so blue, black, thief and stuff. I need to keep in all my removal spells for thief. I don't think I need soots. But I think I, I want coils and I want moment of craving. I want all those like answers to thief. Um... So I could bring in my own thieves. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think staying low on the curve is good. Hmm. I kind of want to bring in my own thieves. But what am I cutting if I'm bringing in thieves? It's kind of tough to play thief and campaign. So I want to keep my removal in. Like, am I just not going to play duress negate? And just go this? Just basically trade soot for thief? So, yeah, I kind of like what we have going on here. Your trim campaign. See, trim and two campaign, two negate. For trim and two campaign, we can trim a discovery. You go two negate, one duress. Take out one discovery and two campaign. So I think that with like the discard stuff that we both have, I think our hands could be kind of empty. And that's why I like negate more than duress. I guess they have like their campaigns I want to duress away. This would be a lot better if we had duress instead of negate. Uh, well, against Wilderness Reclamation and Esper Control are a lot better Thief matchups than this one. Because this, this matchup we need to be more defensive than those. Uh, because we have to be worried about, like, their Thieves, their, they have Hostage Taker, um, and whatever. Like, this is, this is not the perfect Thief matchup. Uh, 26 lands. I kind of don't like ever cutting land. But I guess that's that could be an option if, if I go down the other stuff. Seems like this should be a Rao matchup, though.
No big deal with Erasure taking Erasure. Um, Thief of Sandy is like the scariest card that I'm worried about from them. We still have a removal spell for it on turn three. What? Angrath? What is this? Bolus? Bedevil? Should be easier to draw blue mana. Uh, Bant Approach, like Approach of the Second Sons. Um, I would, I would, if I'm playing Approach of the Second Sons, that seven mana sorcery, I would want 26 lands. Your uh, Reese, your answer was fast. right above you. You're on your own. And that's, that's why Unmordigo is good to play against, because it, it just lets you cycle. So we cycle the Angrath for a blue source and draw Thief. Perfect. Hexproof Death Touch? What's the deal with that? Hexproof? Flying? All right, well, we drew a Dispersal to get rid of it for a turn. Gatsby with the Tier 3 sub. Whoa! We got a new Tier 3 sub. Welcome, Gatsby. Everybody get your hype out. Ooh, yeah. That was another thing I was going to do. I think Matthew had a good suggestion. I think somebody did. Um, I think I'm going to make the foil hype boat tier two uh, in the future. You know, like not this is not something that's going to happen right away. Um, but definitely think about making the foil hype boat tier two and then foil a foil Hawkeye emote for tier three. Instead of the foil cheers on turn two. Um... I want to dispersal now and hit him with the thief. Uses our mana a whole lot better than just playing the Ascanta. Because then, then them playing the Predator again does tap him out, so then I do get to make sure that uh, Ascanta resolves. The problem with campaign is campaign does go back to our opponent. So that's kind of a problem with taking campaign from from them you know like if we if we take the campaign and then we do any kind of surveilling it will go back to them I'll take another thief ooh See if we get to find a, another dispersal. Kill that. Ooh. And we found it. Get rid of Predator. And that's probably game. Double thief trigger. More thief. More thief. This is insane. This thief is not, I don't know. I, I don't have a good sanity pun. I was trying to think of some sanity pun. I'm going to quit while I'm behind. I didn't have a good one.
Yeah, sanity, sanity has been stolen. There we go. Thief steals thieves, so you can thief them with their thief. Honestly, the best the best play here is to take the uh, the sabotage. is is technically a better play. Oh no, I was gonna have four thieves. No opponent, don't concede quite yet. I was gonna have four thieves in play. Oh, uh, I was gonna have quad thieves. Like, how, do you have, do you ever see four thief of sanities in play as the only things in play? Never see that. <laughs> Quasi dupla thief. All right, three no. Don't need no enchantment removal. Unless we play against Gates and they play um, Guild Summit. Winners in the world. I want a name when I lose. Yeah, turn two discovery. Uh oh, burn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like we may get get burned. No, I haven't had any bounty show up at all. You know, it's been like almost two weeks now. The only bounty available is playing a different game uh, for an hour. Um, I guess I need to coil this teamkin. That I don't want to do. There's just not a lot of advertising or uh, these days in the middle of March. Ugh, that's why I wanted it. That would have been the good thing of Thought Razor to take that away first and then. Ooh, that's a good draw. Good draw. Good draw. All right. So do I campaign? Yeah. Yeah, let's just campaign. Get the card draw in. Yeah, we made him just draw a discard a lightning strike. That's probably what we would have wanted them to discard anyway. My favorite modern deck is uh, Green White Value Town, but that was the deck that I used to play in modern. All the time when I played modern before. Alright, so we're gonna be at seven. So they have no cards, but we're at seven. Seven's a lot better than being at six. But we need to find Bolas or Angrath to end the game quickly. Because I don't have a clock at all. <laughs> we have all the discoveries though. So let's start looking for our win cons. I mean, I think the card in hand is just a land. I'm not going to Thought Erasure if it's an instant speed spell. Instant speed, instant speed spell. Um, you know, they'll just cast it. It's not like a sorcery speed spell that Thought Erasure will be able to hit. Keep digging. All right, there's an Angrath. Very nice, very nice. All right, contempt this. Go back up to eight. Now next turn, play Angrath to start trying to win. Hmm, I guess I could play this card first. There's not really a reason to play Thought Razor first. I'm going to play no Discovery. Fire, no steel. Yeah, I thought it was just such a high percentage chance that that was just a mountain in hand. Um, I want Bolas. Yeah, I just want Bolas.
Need to find a one of our four boluses. No fire, no steel. Um. Campaign. Campaign. There's got to be a bullet in here somewhere. We have four in the deck. We've gone through half our deck. It's our only way to win a game. Thankfully, they've drawn lands for a couple turns in a row. Down to seven. We're at 29 left. There we go. There we go. All right. So if I'm minus three Angrath... No, I'm gonna take up. No fire. I can I can make sure no that we stay at seven and you know we're above six, but now like Firebrand does hit us down to six, so two you know, so it, it is they draw lightning strike, draw lightning strike kind of thing, we're dead. Ah, they drew a land, good. I, I ticked up so we could get to the the ultimate and you know, give them less draw steps, but we did. No fire. No so, like, we're going to have lethal next turn. One Viashino Pyromancer. No, I'm just gonna, not going to do anything with Bolas. this turn. Yeah, like they... Experimental Frenzy into some stuff. Could do something. Got me down to three. I am the hammer. You are the anvil. All right. Actually got game one against Burn. That's a tough game to get. Let's get these negates in here. Uh, campaigns come out because they're too slow. Moment of Cravings in. I don't love Cry of the Carnarium, though. Discovery's pretty slow, too. But it does dig for us. How would you bench first Mono Blue? I think you mean Sideboard? S sideboarding versus Mono Blue? Um, all the duresses and negates come in. Um... And disinformation campaign and discovery comes out. Same kind of thing that we're doing here, basically. But I don't know if I need all the duresses against the mono red. Because, like, the duresses and thought erasures turn into dead cards pretty quickly. Um, are you any good in this matchup? You can help us dig for negate. This card may be better than Angrath. Maybe that's better than Angrath. I'll try one route to Angrath. 
It's okay, Thor. Yeah, sideboarding, yeah. You're good. I haven't found Thief to be something that I want too much uh, in this matchup. That's better. Basically, for the most part, when I... When I'm keeping... When I'm keeping Ritual of Soot, and I want Ritual of Soot, I don't want Thief. That's kind of a, a good rule of thumb. I don't want... I don't want both Ritual of Soot and Thief in, in matchups. I kind of want one or the other. In decks where I don't want Ritual of Soot, I want Thief. If I want Ritual of Soot, I don't want Thief. I don't really would like playing both. Yeah, 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 it's my go. So wait on duress. Of course, I'm not not shocking in this matchup. So I guess we'll have Ascanta on two. Duress will come later. Reduce the any card that can deal is damage. Get it out of there. Dress just turns into a dead card though. Later on, which is tough. Okay, that's hmm. Means we may need a shock next turn, but let's fire this off. Ooh. That's a hand of a lot of burn spells right there. Hando burn. All right, we're down to ten. Now Bolas can um, get rid of this last card, get rid of this Wizard's Lightning, so it's the only time I want to play Bolas. <laughs> oh, thanks Flips. Still, still watching the channel even though you haven't played Magic for a couple months. I'm glad you're here. Negate is, is like our best card to, to draw. That's like the card that we want to find is Negate. I really wouldn't mind another Bolus either if they because if they top deck Lava Coil, we're going to need another threat. Uh, buddy, I guess I'm declining. Because if they find creatures, um, we have contempt for creatures. So I'm, I'm hoping they drew creatures. Lands and creatures. That's all, that's all I want to see from them. We've gone through a decent amount of burn spells already. Um... Good, that's a creature. So they risk factor again. Ooh. All right. Uh, 
Um, I guess I should just ask Kanta because of Thought Erasure. Just ask Kanta on my turn because we could have hit Thought Erasure for whatever their last card is. Ooh, another Contempt. More life gain. Don't kill my bolus. Don't kill my bolus. No. They kill my bolus. Alright, I'm going to just use the lava coil here. Um, because Contempt can hit like the a haste creature. Um, and we get to activate Escanta. Hey, Nerd Girl. We are on early today. All right, Angrath. You're no Down fire, six. no steel. Doing it, doing an early stream today from noon to seven instead of three to ten. Uh, my time, so I get to go see the Captain Marvel movie tonight. Pretty excited about that. Steamkin is a great card for us to see. They they should ditch that to Risk Factor. They know that we have Contempt here. They they really should just ditch the Steamkin to, to no Risk Factor. No fire, no steel. Alright, we're in a good spot. I'm gonna go ahead and just. I'm gonna just try to find negate. Uh, bolus isn't negate, but it's bolus, so I'll keep it. I probably should just ditch it still. I probably should just go for negate. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and kill our opponent a really cool way. Get our bolus. Give our bolus haste. Your crew for my freedom. And attack him for four. <laughs> Don't attack me. Nice. You better not be attacking me. There you go. Yeah, attack. Attack opponent. And that's four. And that's. Ugh. That's a win. Four and O. Oh. What, what you could do, Flips, or not Flips, sorry, uh, Thor. Um, this is a deck I've played quite a bit. You could you could check out like maybe the other videos on YouTube and just kind of fast like see what we're playing against and fast forward to sideboarding and see how I'm sideboarding against all of them there. Um, all right, four and O. Oh, Y'all know what time it is when we have won four matches here. We are going to the final boss. Yeah, no problem. Yep, so that's that's where you can see the replays there on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. Get you all of them there. Um, and we are uh, going to be doing another 12-hour stream when we get to 2,000 YouTube subscribers. We're getting there. We're about 150 away now. Um, we got to our first equip goal. We got to 10 equip um, referrals, people purchasing a new toothbrush through the equip link. And so we're going to be doing a 12-hour stream on Thursday from 11 to 11 to celebrate that one. Carnage Tyrant, come on. What are you doing? Taking the Jade Light Ranger. Considering rotation coming up, do you think it's still worth it to burn wild cards on the the these lands? Yeah, rotation's not coming up for a while. I mean, it's still it's like the end of end of September. I mean, it's it's a good half a year away. I mean, I would I would still recommend using the oh, I don't 
I don't have two black sources. Was this a black source? Uh-oh. I didn't really look at that part of my mana base. Um, yeah, half a year is a long time. I would, I would just, I would still craft them and enjoy them and everything like that. It's hard to play the two color decks without them and everything. Whew, still got there. Got a little lucky there, still got there. So now they can't have Carnage Tyrant next turn. Bolus. Attack. Uh, it, so question is like, what happens, uh, when the, with the lands, whenever the rotation comes, uh, do they print dual lands or do the meta change quite a bit? Um, they're, they may have different dual lands. So basically they usually rotate, rotate around like what dual lands they use. Um, uh, they did not hit the sixth land for Carnage Tyrant. It looks like did not get that sixth land. Uh, there could be just just brand new dual lands. Like there's been tons and tons of different kind of dual lands in Magic's history. That's like some one thing that keeps uh, standard fresh and everything. It's not you don't have the same mana bases always. Um, so there's usually like different challenges of like how to build mana bases depending on what lands are available. There is a chance that the that these buddy lands that are going to be rotating out do get reprinted. There's certainly a chance of that. Um, but there's a chance that they won't be. That they'll be gone and they'll be some other type of lands. Uh, but they'll probably be still rare dual lands, but they may not be the exact same. Um, and keep standard fresh kind of rotating through different types of lands. All right, so bringing in Rao, cutting the duress. That was our plan before. You know, Carnage Tyrant, of course, is, is a problem, but we hope to make him discard it. Hey, thanks, Robbery. Yeah, Eldrazi Tron. Uh, did a lot of winning with that deck, and uh, that deck will have a near and dear place in my heart. No, Cry of the Carnarium is not too good in the matchup. It doesn't hit a whole lot of stuff. Um, it's not not a very reliable card. The more, um, the more Midnight Reapers the opponent has, the more you'd actually want Cry of the Carnarium. <laughs> I do not speak Italian. Uh, I don't want to say that Grixis Discard is stronger than Soltai. I think Soltai is the strongest deck, um, but I've been really, like, really liking Grixis Discard. All right, another Tyrant. We're gonna take the Thief. I take Thief, they take, they play Branchwalker. I thought Erasure away. I don't know, something else. Good, that's a land. So now we get to campaign. Oh, Jade Light's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Those are all three good cards in their hand. I think I'm discard one of them. All right, Tyrant down. That is not what I want Thief of Sanities to do. I do not want Thief of Sanities to give him free cards. Um. So I think I'm just gonna thought erasure away the biogenic ooze. I'll take a hit for six down to ten, but then we'll sit away everything.
I am glad my opponent's keeping Vrassus Contempt, because that card doesn't does not matter. Yeah, I'm very glad they kept like keeping Vrassus Contempt is not a good idea when your opponent has two disinformation campaigns in hand, because that you know, Vrassus Contempt is not proactive at all. It's only it's only reactive and it and we just don't need to we don't need to play a threat out because we have campaigns. Like the campaigns we're just gonna make them discard those their cards. So um keeping that contempt was a pretty bad idea. And there we go, 5-0. We beat uh, Sultai, Mono Red, uh, Traditional Green Black. Um, don't remember what else we beat. Dun, 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 dun. Perfect theme song came on to celebrate the 5-0. That was some nice uh, music playing right there. 2100 gold. I really like this deck. This deck's good. Um, I didn't miss on Mordigo too much. Oh yeah, we beat we beat a blue black mid range. Um, that's kind of the same same deck except for just blue black. Yeah, Grixis is probably the best performing deck. I mean, I am currently ten and zero with Esper Duplicate, but I think this is a better deck. I I haven't played against a couple of the top decks yet with Esper Duplicate. Um, I haven't played against Sultai or Reclamation with that deck yet, and you know it's just a small sample size. But yeah, this is the this is the deck that if I was going and playing a tournament tomorrow, I'd be playing this. Is Rao the best thing for that matchup? For like that Sultai matchup? I don't know. You know, Star of Extinction is another option for that slot. Um, but versus Esper Control, we're good. Esper Control is a is a good matchup. This is it's kind of the reason to play this this kind of deck is against Esper Control. Game one. You're not as good. You have four rituals, four lava coils, a lot of things that aren't very good. But then game after game two, you bring in duress, negate, thief of sanity, Ral. Um, you know, you bring in twelve cards uh, in your sideboard. Um, they would take out the four coil, four soot. Um, kind of have too many cards to take out. You can take out the two bedevil and two contempt, also. May have like too many cards to bring in. Kind of have no, just go with a no removal. I've kind of had success with that. They can like you know get an early thief of sanity and get you. Um, but if they don't have early thief of sanity, that's kind of their only way to get you. Mono blue has been a, a good matchup for the deck. Um, that's one that I win almost all the time. You sideboard. Uh, kind of like Red, where you you take out the four campaigns and the four discoveries because those are just slow, and you just bring in all the duresses and negates, uh, and the moment of craving. So you bring in those eight, take out the eight campaign and contempt, or campaign and discovery. That's what you do there. So there we go, some Grixis discard. Um, good league there we got one more league to play after this we're going to be running back some naya legends um so if you're watching this video later on on youtube don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there get towards that 2000 goal and thanks for watching i'll see you for the next video